Some of the greatest movies ever made belong to the genre of the American Western. Gamblers, frontier damsels in distress, sheriffs and gunfighters make for some of the most incredible storytelling on the screen. And two actors' names bring immediately to mind when someone says Western. John Wayne and Clint Eastwood. It's time to draw and see who's the best on-screen cowboy. The Duke or the man with no name. Marion Robert Morrison, or John Wayne, was born in 1907 and is the veteran of the two, with Clint Eastwood Jr. born in 1930. The Duke gets a point for being a pioneer in the industry who got his first major role in a western called The Big Trail, filmed the same year Eastwood was born. John Wayne made several lower-budget westerns until 1939 when he was cast in a movie called Stagecoach, the role that would make him a star. Clint Eastwood's first role was as a fighter pilot in a monster movie from 1955 called Tarantula. He didn't get his big break until he was cast as Rowdy Yates in television's Rawhide, which ran between 1959 and 1965. That means that John Wayne was a star at 23, six years before Eastwood was at 29. There's no doubt who made more movies. John Wayne made at least 83, including his last role, a voice acting credit in Star Wars in 1977. Clint Eastwood appeared in somewhere around the area of 70, but Clint certainly made more money. His net worth is in the neighborhood of $375 million, compared to Wayne's estate, which would be close to an estimated $50 million after the inflation of today's money. John Wayne never had a chance when it comes to Academy Awards, though. Clint was nominated for 11 and won 4. The Duke only took home 1 for his iconic role as Rooster Cogburn in 1969's True Grit, arguably the movie he became best known for. According to the Internet Movie Database, the best movie John Wayne ever made was The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance with James Stewart and Lee Marvin in 1962. That news surprised me as I thought it might have been Rio Bravo, made in 1959 with Dean Martin. There is no argument as to which was the biggest role for Clint Eastwood. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, filmed in 1966 by Sergio Leone, has been called the best western ever made with Lee Van Cleef and Eli Wallach. The American Civil War saga was over three hours long, has been referred to as the definitive spaghetti western, and has one of the greatest endings of all time. We lost John Wayne from stomach cancer in 1979, and as of now, Clint Eastwood is still a director in Hollywood at the age of 91 years old. Both men helped create the Western movie genre and are still two of the finest actors today.